Hello everyone, this is Econometrics and I'm Sebastian Y. In this video I'm going to show you how to run a simple regression in Stata. We're also going to talk about using stored values and scalars and do a little bit of graphing. We're going to go ahead and load up the data set Wage2. This is a data set from the Wildridge book that consists of a sample of men from 1980. We're going to estimate a Mincer equation, which shows the relationship between wage and years of completed education. The command in Stata to run a regression is regress, but just like any command in Stata, it's possible to abbreviate. You can go all the way down to reg, which is what we're going to do. And then what we need to do is space, then our dependent variable, which is wage, and then another space and our explanatory variable, which is education, E-D-U-C, then we're going to run this. We get our regression output here, and for right now, the numbers that we are going to focus on are right here, the coefficient estimates. We have an intercept of about 147 and a slope of 60. So this tells us that each year of education, we expect the monthly wages to go up by about $60. We can use the equations derived from the moment conditions to verify these numbers. You can see those equations on screen right now. Beta 1 hat equals the covariance of x and y divided by the variance of x, and beta naught hat equals the mean of y minus beta 1 hat, which we calculated earlier, times the mean of x. We're going to need to calculate beta 1 hat first. To get the covariance and the variance, we're going to use the command correlate. We can abbreviate that to just C-O-R-R, -R, and then we need to put in the two variables that we are going to find the correlation between, which are going to be wage and education. It does not matter which order you put them in, but it will matter for later when we are pulling the variance. So I'm going to put wage and education, and then we need to put the option covariance. You can abbreviate that to COV. An option in Stata is a way to modify a command and they always come after a comma. This gives us the variance covariance matrix for wage and education. So this number right here is the variance of wage, this is the variance of education, and this is the covariance. So the covariance is the first thing we're going to need. So we're going to display, and if you remember from our previous videos, we can pull stored values using R. And now we're going to need the covariance between the two variables, which is COV underscore 1, 2. Basically what this means, it's the covariance of variable 1 and variable 2, which are wage and education. And then we are going to divide that by the variance of our explanatory variable, which in this case is education. So we need to pull this 4.8 number. We're going to use R again, and then VAR, and it's capital V, underscore 2. And the reason we put 2 there is because education is the second variable that we typed in. Had we done it the other way and we put education first, we would put VAR underscore 1. You can see that I run that, and I get the exact same beta 1 hat that I got from the regression results earlier. You can also save a value in Stata using the command scalar. First thing we need to do is name our scalar. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to call this B1 for beta 1 equals, and then I'm going to copy and paste that same calculation we just did earlier, but instead of displaying it, I am assigning it to the scalar B1. I can check to make sure that worked by displaying B1. You can see that's the exact same number we got earlier. Now, anytime we type in B1, it will pull that value of 60.2 for any future calculations we're going to do. Now, to calculate beta naught hat, we're going to need the means of both wage and education. If you recall from the previous videos, we get that using summarize, or sum for short. So let's do wage first. We need to get the mean, which we can use with R of mean, but we need to save this value, so we're going to do scalar, and I'll call this wage bar for the mean of wage. You can call this anything you want, remember, and that's going to be R of mean, and then we're going to need to do the exact same thing for education. 
and we're going to save as a scalar education bar equals our mean. And we can make sure these work by displaying wage bar and displaying education bar. Looks like both of those are working fine. Now we're ready to do our final calculation to get beta naught hat. Remember that is going to be wage bar minus beta one hat, which we already saved as B1, times education bar. That'll be 146.9. And if we go up here, we can see that verifies the result we got from our regression. The last thing I want to show you in this video is to just get started doing a little bit of graphing and that's going to help us visualize what's going on here. Stata has a lot of powerful graphing tools and we're going to get into those in much more detail in a later video, but for now I'm just going to get us started with making a scatter plot, which is just scatter, and then you need to put in the two variables that you want to make the scatter plot out of with the y variable coming first, just like in the regression. So we're going to put wage, education. And a good way to remember this is that the order is the exact same that it would be in the regression. When we run that, we're going to have the graph pop up in a separate window. It's going to give us that scatter plot. There's a lot of options we can do here and mess around with this in a bunch of ways, but we're not going to go there today. Another thing that you can do is put multiple graphs on the same axis. And the command to do that is called two way. And it says two way, but you can actually do many different graphs on the same axis with the two way command, not just two. Once we do that, we can then put our graphing commands in parentheses. So I'm going to do scatter wage education, just like before, close the parentheses, and then with a space, open another set of parentheses, and then I can put my next graph in there. What we're going to do is L fit. L fit basically makes a linear regression line for these variables. And that's going to be the exact same line that we estimated earlier using the regress command. So again, we're going to put wage and education as the variables, close the parentheses and run this. And we can see that a new graph pops up here with the same scatter plot we had before, but now with those fitted values going through that cloud of points representing our regression line. One thing to be aware of is that when you use two way by default title on the Y axis is not included. And so we're going to fix that real quick. Remember, you can click over here on history to bring a command back and we're going to add an option. Remember comma, and then we add our options and the option we're going to add is Y title open parentheses. And then in quotes, you can write in what you want your Y title to be. And we're going to put in monthly earnings. Close the quotes, close the parentheses, and then run this again. And you can see that we've got a title on the Y axis back. This is just one of many, many, many options that you can put in to your graphs. And we're going to talk about these later, but for now, that's where we will stop. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.